Hello everyone, how are you? So today I'm going to tell you about the Fourier series analysis. Uh, before I start the video, I invite you to go on Moodle and check out lecture uh, number seven, in which this uh, topic is already explained. But I'm gonna tell you myself, what is it about? Number one, look, Fourier series is a pretty simple idea. Fourier himself, this guy, let me show it to you, this guy, was a, was a scientist in 18th century. His main achievement was this. He claimed that any periodic signal could be created by adding a series of harmonically related sinusoids. What does it mean? It means that any periodic signal can be written as a sum of some sines and cosines. So... I just want to cut to the chase. Look, forget about these things that are written here, okay? Look at this. Imagine you have a signal called X of T. The Fourier series theorem says that any X of T can be written as a sum of A, K, E to the power of J, K, omega, not T, in which A, K is found this way. A k is 1 over t, the integral of minus t is t over 2 over t, to uh, the t over 2, x prime t, e to the power of minus j k omega naught t dt. Where omega naught, which is the wave number, you know, it's 2 pi over capital T, capital T here is the period. Okay? Oh, again, don't worry about this too much. What does it mean? Let me remind you something. Do you remember the Euler's relation from your calculus to Euler's said that sine and cosine functions could be written as a sum of two exponential functions. Of cosine of omega t plus phi will be e to the power of j omega t plus phi plus e to the power of minus j omega t plus phi over 2. Sine of omega t plus phi is e to the power of j omega t plus phi minus e to the power of minus j omega t plus phi over 2j. Why did I say that? Because you see sine and cosine themselves are something like this, are the sum of sum e to the power of j k's. So that's why we say that any periodic function can be written as sum of some harmonics. So, for example, I'm giving you an example here. Look at this function. 1 plus 1 over 2 cosine of 2 pi t plus cosine of 4 pi t plus 2 over 3 cosine of 6 pi t. I want to find the ak, the coefficients, because if I find the coefficients, I can write the signal. In the signal, only ak is missing. The rest, we know what it is. And k is changing, for example, here from minus 3 to 3. I just opened off the cosine of 2 pi t and cosine of 4 pi t and cosine of 6 pi t and wrote them as the Euler formula. And instead of cosine of 2 pi t, I wrote e to the power of j 2 pi t plus e to the power of minus j 2 pi t over 2. And so I had a 2 here too, so it becomes 1 over 4. So this, this became the expression of this function. And from this one, I will compare it with this sigma so a0 of course because a0 will be the coefficient of e to the power of j 0 so it's going to be 1 so basically a is going to be the constant so a0 will be 1 of course here's the solution a1 should be the coefficient of when k is 1 the coefficient of e to the power of j 2 pi t so the coefficient of e to the power of j 2 pi t is 1 over 4 right there a minus 1 is also 1 over 4 because the coefficient of e to the power of minus j2 pi t is also 1 over 4. Then, the coefficient of e to the power of j4 pi t, so it means that k should be 2. So it's going to be a2. a2 will be 1 over 2. a up minus 2 will be also 1 over 2. Now look at here. e to the power of j6 pi t. So this one should be for the time that k is 3. So it's a3. 
So A3, the coefficient is going to be 1 over 3. And A minus 3 is also 1 over 3. Here, conceptually, it's showing each of those signals. And say that that overall signal is the sum of these periodic. You see, each of them is a periodic signal. This one, this one, and this one. When we add them together, it will become something like this. You see? So it's a combination of these three signals. This is the main point of the theory of Fourier. So any periodic signal can be written as sum of e to the power of j omega t. As simple as that. So there are a few things about it. The first term is always a constant because when k is 0, e to the power of uh, j0 is going to be 1. So the coefficient is going to be just a constant. And this is important because it's always the question in the exams. What is a fundamental frequency? The fundamental frequency is when k is 1. When k is 1. Okay? So the term when k is 1 and k is minus 1 have fundamental frequency equal to omega naught. So omega naught is your fundamental frequency. The rest of the frequencies are multiplications of this fundamental frequency. So this one, for example, when it comes to when k becomes two, it's gonna be the second harmonic. When k becomes three, it's gonna be the third harmonic. So it means that this function is gonna have different harmonics. As simple as that. These are all the simple explanations of the Fourier series. So let's do another example. We want to write x of t equals sine of omega naught t as a, a Fourier series. So we want to find the a case. So I will rewrite this as x of t is 1 over 2j e to the power of j omega t uh, minus 1 over 2j e to the power of minus j omega t. So a1 will be 1 over 2j, a minus 1 will be minus 1 over 2j. As simple as that. A more complicated example, look at this one. If you have this function, 1 plus sine of omega naught t, 2 plus sine of omega naught t, cosine of 2 omega naught t plus pi over 4. So first, you will use the Euler formula, okay, to expand this one. Like for the sine, you will write e to the power of j omega t minus 2 to the power of minus j omega t over 2j. For cosine, you will write e to the power of j omega t plus e to the power of minus j omega t over 2. And for this one, the same. Then you will separate the e's the way that e to the, the constant part, a dot, will be 1. The one that they had e to the power of j omega t only, they're going to be a1. And e to the power of minus j omega t, and it's going to give you a minus 1. The one that they had e to the power of 2j omega t is going to give you a2. e to the power of minus 2j omega t is going to give you a minus 2. As simple as that. Here is also another example. I will talk to you more in the next videos so please uh, keep your questions for thursday that we're gonna talk about it more and more